Daniel is a workaholic product designer who resides in Mumbai with his wife Jenny, an IIM graduate and now a homemaker, and their two-year-old son Bobby. One day, when Daniel comes home from office, he finds that his wife Jenny is leaving him and Bobby. Despite his trying hard to convince her to stay, she moves out, leaving the father and son alone. Daniel and Bobby initially resented one another. as daniel had no time to take proper care of bobby due to his increased workload both at home and work bobby also misses his mother's love and attention daniel soon lost his job and had to take up a lower paying job after almost a year of downs daniel and bobby learn to cope and gradually bond as father and son 20 months later jenny returns to mumbai They are still married and have not been formally divorced. Jenny, however, wants to take custody of Bobby. Jenny now has a well-paid job and is doing financially better than Daniel as she has a salary of 2 lakh per month whereas Daniel earns only rupees 50000 a month. Jenny also has rented a better apartment than Daniel in a safer location in Mumbai. Bobby is very comfortable and happy with his father. He does not want to move in with her mother. A conflict of interest has arisen between the parties, and if this case is brought to court, it would lead to the character assassination of both and affect Bobby drastically as it would require him to move. To uphold the interest of all parties, mediation is decided upon. Good afternoon. It's good to see the two of you here. I am Nazneen, and I will be serving as your mediator for this session. For your information, I am a certified mediator from the Bangalore Mediation Centre. You may call me by my first name. Can you please tell me how you would like to be addressed? By your first, first name. All right. Perfect. Now, uh, to start off the session, can both the parties kindly introduce themselves? Uh, first of all, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Shreyas. I am the counsel, and I will be representing my client. uh daniel and further i would like to also extend my gratitude to the opposing party for uh being present here for uh, mediation good afternoon everyone i am daniel uh i thank you everyone for attending this uh, mediation session i hope that we can uh, come to a fruitful solution from here uh oh, good afternoon everybody my name is uzair and i am the counsel of jenny first of all i'd like to thank daniel for agreeing to this mediation session where we can sort out our issues and differences I would also like to inform the councils of Daniel that I do not have the authority to take any decisions on behalf of them. Good. Uh, good afternoon, everybody present here. Um, thank you to the mediator as well as Daniel and his council for being present here for this mediation. Um, I hopefully we can find a fruitful and an amicable uh, solution that we can implement. Thank you parties now let me begin by saying that the purpose of our meeting is to help you work out an understanding acceptable to both the parties right due to the problem that has arisen here now to help you with the same i will be stressing on four main things one is your voluntary participation now the mediation process exists for your benefit which is why it can be voluntary and i will be helping you make your own choices in your self interest and will not be providing any solutions or deciding on your behalf now the second one i would like to emphasize on fairness now this means that i would treat each side equally and act only as a neutral third party thirdly i would like to emphasize on the confidentiality aspect now this settlement conference is off limits as you you all have signed in your mediation agreement which means that i will not be at any liberty to reveal any information that is being discussed in this process fourth i want both the parties to be respectful to each other any kind of name calling or unparliamentary language will not be entertained now to start the process i will ask each side to put their issues on the table and to tell us about their case you can take the time you need but most people take not more than 10 minutes to describe things each that is and partake in a short discussion after that when both sides have finished we will then break into separate caucuses and work from there to resolve the matters now most importantly your comfort is prioritized so if either of you feel uncomfortable or feel that it's getting too much then you can always ask me or request the parties for a break and then we can uh, resume the process from there 
Now we can start with Jenny. Can you please tell us your perspective? Okay. Um, uh, I was essentially forced to take up a job due to Daniel being a workaholic and not showing up at home and Bobby being an extremely young kid under the age of two years. I had a lot of responsibilities with respect to homemaking as well as taking care of the child and generally parenting is a 50-50 process at the least it should be 60-40 but in Daniel's case it was generally a 90-10 at best and when people uh, when Daniel got back home uh, he used to work extremely late nights and so I was forced to essentially take up all the responsibilities of parenting Bobby, Bobby being uh, mine and Daniel's child. We uh, essentially had to run the place on our own and Daniel never showed up to share the responsibilities with respect to the parenting aspect of things as well as the um, homemaking aspect. Both was left to me and Bobby being an extremely young kid, it is vital for Bobby to at that point uh, require both the support of the parents, the dad as well as the mom and that was absent with respect to Daniel's um, partaking in the parenting aspect. Then um, because of this I was essentially forced to walk out because there is a plimsoll for any individual and when that is breached it, I don't think that I can really stay but right now um, I have a good financial capability. I have an extremely high paying job and I live in a very very safe neighborhood which would benefit Bobby and I would like Bobby to come back and stay with me and not stay with Daniel because Daniel essentially lives in a very um, unsafe neighborhood and does not have a job that supports the uh, education aspect as well as the uh, health essentials needed for Bobby and I think it is in the best interest of Bobby that if I get custody of Bobby. And I would also like to uh, state that um, Bobby should not be treated as a commodity right now. And he is essentially our child. So I don't. I really hope that um, Daniel sees what is best for Bobby and both of us can arrive at something which benefits Bobby as an individual. Thank you, Jenny. Now Daniel can put forth his perspective. I'm Daniel and uh, it's truly stated uh, that I'm a workaholic and I take pride in whatever work I do and uh, since Jenny left me it's been 20 months and uh, the time has been difficult balancing between my work life and uh, the balancing the responsibilities of Jenny at the same time but somewhere I was able to do it and I really condemn such assertions to, uh, put forth by Jenny that uh, she's in a better position or the comparisons uh, in whatever manner and uh, right now I think uh, I am truly in a very capable position to be uh, the primary caregiver of Bobby and uh, it's been quite some time right now and uh, I think we are in consistency and uh, I am really taking better care and uh, Bobby is truly happy so I want to keep the primary custody the complete custody of the child and uh, I want Bobby to stay with me. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you both the parties for voicing your opinions and putting your perspective out on this uh, platform. Now, from the discussion that has just happened, I can uh, identify two main agendas. So, the main issue here is the child custody of Bobby. So, now we can start off by discussing the kind of custody that both the parties will take. And secondly, we can discuss the alternate solutions if both the parties are willing to put forward any solutions as such. Now, before starting, I would also like to emphasize that this is happening for Bobby and I request both of you to consider his future and Bobby's security and life in general before making any decision. Now, uh, I think Daniel's counsel can Start by elaborating. So, uh, first of all, I would like to add on to uh, whatever my client has already stated uh, in front of in front of you. So, uh, first of all, it's very essential to understand that my uh, client here has been the sole breadwinner uh, while the family uh, was close, and um, uh, he is he's a workaholic and he's someone who gets very invested into his work. 
uh, and uh, I feel that the fact that uh, Jenny uh, left him was totally unfair not only on him but even the child as well who at the time was only two years old. So uh, for the past 20 months my client here has been the primary uh, caregiver for the child and uh, it's gone to an extent where he even lost his job and he had to take up another job with a very extensive pay cut and uh, they are also uh, you know sort of going through a process where they are building a very good relationship and uh, since this is a case which is revolving around the custody of the child i think that it's, it's very essential to sort of take into consideration the the mentality as well as the comfort of the child and i feel that since the past 20 months uh, bobby has been uh, exclusively spending time with my client he is very comfortable uh, with the environment which my uh, client is giving and um, I, I feel you know uh, after 20 months coming and asking for the custody of the child will be totally unfair uh, on my on my client uh, and it will be difficult uh, psychologically for uh, Bobby as well uh, to move into a new environment and you know get adjusted to the new environment which uh, you will be giving him so this is uh, essentially uh, what I want to post in my uh, believe me we do not want to do any injustice to you so while uh, I noticed that Daniel when he was you know sharing his perspective he was blaming a lot of things on Jenny so uh, you need to understand Jenny's perspective here as well Jenny had was forced to walk up walk out on Daniel and Bobby for a reason Daniel did not give time that was required for his family so because of that reason Jenny had to walk out on her family and the reason why uh, the relationship between Daniel and Bobby exists is because of Jenny walking out the family so if Jenny would have continued to stay and Daniel would have continued to be the work, workaholic husband that he was 20 months ago, we never know what the future would have hold, uh, would have held for Daniel, for, uh, for Bobby and Daniel as well. So we cannot look at these two incidents in isolation, but uh, understand why Jenny had to do what she had to do, you know, for, for us to come to present situation. So by keeping all of those things in mind and present condition of Jenny, we like to propose that uh, Jenny should have the sole custody of Bobby and uh, might explore other options if Danny is open to it. Thank you, Council. Uh, so I want the sole custody of uh, Bobby just uh, because of the thing that uh, he, Bobby has been staying on for the past 20 months with me and we are kind of doing great. And uh, right now that uh, I can be the primary caregiver for Bobby and uh, because uh, of course of the emotional bond which I have developed and of course uh, this thing is uh, necessary for the mental health of Bobby and the change of schedule might hamper it uh, specifically if uh, you take a, if you take him to a, a different location to a different locality with different time schedules this can lead to disruption of Bobby's routine and that will be detrimental to his health so keeping it in the best interest of Bobby I think it would be better if I keep the sole custody of Bobby See, I want sole custody of Bobby as well because of the fact that honestly um, he deserves the best of the education and he deserves the best of the healthcare and there should be no financial constraints for a child and he deserves a person who actually cares as well and there is no better person to give that care other than a mother and I do completely understand that Bobby does need to have uh, paternal care as well but um, at the minute I don't think that it is really safe for Bobby to say, stay with uh, Daniel at the minute because see the neighborhood you're in currently is not the best place for Bobby to grow up because there is safety constraints as well as financial constraints and that is not something I want Bobby growing up in so if Bobby does get to stay with me and I do get custody of Bobby. These are aspects that uh, no child should worry about and Bobby should not worry about the same as well. Thank you parties. Uh, now I can see that we have reached a deadlock. So if both the parties allow it, then I would like to break the session into private caucuses. Sure. Sure. All right, uh, we can start with Jenny's side. So. We request you to please wait outside. All right. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you both for your cooperation, and I would like to further remind you that anything that happens here is strictly confidential. So any sensitive information that you could not reveal 
sort of in front of the other party, you are at the liberty to reveal it right now. So, if you would like to add something, you can. Um, I don't think we have anything to reveal at the minute, but we do have a suggestion that my council would put forth, and we hope that you can put it forth to the other party as well. Sure. So, uh, uh, I have conferred with my client, and we have come up with a proposal wherein uh, we'd like to discuss the details of physical custody and legal custody with Daniel and his counsel. We are proposing that Daniel grant us legal custody while still holding on to the physical custody of Bobby. Uh, Bobby can continue to stay with Daniel, but uh, Jenny would like to have the legal custody uh, of Bobby. Uh, we, are, we are agreeing to this term so that you can reveal it to Daniel and ask him for it. All right. Uh, thank you. So, just to clarify, you are seeking to retain the legal custody yes. of Bobby and uh, allowing them to retain the physical custody yes. of the child. Yes. All right. Thank you for your cooperation as of now. And I would like to further stress on the fact that everything that happens in a caucus remains confidential. So, if there was any sensitive information that you were hesitant to reveal, sort of, uh, in front of the other party. You are at the liberty to do so now. So, is there anything like that? Uh, yes, uh, mediator. So, recently I got a job offer from a very big company, a renowned company which is based out of Delhi, and I need to move there. And uh, so, the kind of amount they will be paying me will be approximately two lakh rupees a month. So, that's uh, three, uh, four times which I earn right now. And I think that will be better for me and Bobby to survive and to balance the responsibilities in such an amount. So uh, that's that's uh, a part which I do not disclose right now, uh, which I disclose right now. And uh, I think it would be for the best interest if Bobby is with me right now. And uh, since I, if we can move to Delhi, so it would be best in the both, uh, in the best interest of us. All right, Mr. Daniel. So will I be at the liberty to reveal this to the other party? Uh, yes, you can reveal this to the other party. I have no objections in it. Perfect, thank you so much. So is there anything else that you would like to add to the caucus session or can we move forward to the discussion? Uh, so okay. yeah, move forward with the discussion. Okay, thank you. First of all, I would like to thank both the parties for being this cooperative in the caucus session. So now from whatever was revealed in the caucus sessions and what was discussed, I would like to uh, express that Mr. Daniel has revealed to me that he has recently backed a job opportunity in Delhi which will pay him 2 lakhs per month. And further, I would like to reiterate that Miss Jenny is in agreement to retain only the legal guardianship of Bobby, leaving the physical guardianship completely to you. So if both the points are clear, then we can move forward with the discussion. So I feel in that situation, the other party would be having an upper hand with regards to having uh, you know, the legal custody of the child and giving us only the physical custody. So if I can understand, uh, can you clarify on the basis of what clauses would be included in the agreement and what the nuances are? Uh, yes, so what we mean by legal custody is basically uh, de every decision related to say education or medical treatment will be in the hands of Jenny. So Jenny would be the legal guardian on all the documents of Bobby. Uh, she will be the sole representative of Bobby. Uh, while this is true for Jenny, Daniel can retain the physical guardianship wherein Bobby will continue to live with uh, Daniel wherever Daniel wishes to live. So just to clarify, uh, there will be absolutely no intervention uh, by Jenny uh, with regards to the physical custody of the child, right? Um, I would like to visit my son once in a while if our schedules can be matched. I can just discuss it with my Sure. Uh, so yes, uh, as discussed, I don't think uh, I have a problem with uh, Jenny uh, visiting with Bobby once in a while. And I think this works in the best interest of us that uh, I get to keep the physical custody of the child and uh, you will be the legal guardian and the legal representative of the child. Alright, so I believe that a settlement has been reached. Now the further process of signing an agreement which 
you will be granting them the physical guardianship completely. We can do that in further sessions. And finally, I would like to thank both the parties for part partaking in this session and attempting to resolve this dispute amicably. This could have easily escalated into something less time efficient as well as cost efficient. So I would like to commend and congratulate both the parties for choosing this platform to resolve your dispute. Now, uh, regarding the further processes, our mediation center will directly communicate with both the parties' counsel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, mediator, for uh, assisting this session. Thank you so much, Jenny, and thank you, counsel. I'm really glad that we can come to an amicable solution instead of fighting blankly. And uh, I really look forward to fruitful discussions. First of all, I would like to thank the mediator for uh, conducting the session and laying down the ground rules uh, for this particular session. And further, I would like to extend the gratitude uh, towards uh, Jenny and uh, you know her counsel uh, for you know ultimately coming to a common ground and finding a solution which uh, benefits both parties. Thank you to the mediator present here as well as Daniel and his counsel. Um, this has clearly saved a lot of heartache for both of us as well as for Bobby. And I think this is a very amicable solution that we can implement um, in the next session. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking Daniel and his counsel for such a fruitful mediation session. And also I'm grateful that you chose this as a medium to resolve our dispute rather than litigation. I would, I would also like to thank the mediator for aiding us in this session so that we can finish this process. Smoothly.